Hello YouTube. My name is Jennifer and this is my very first YouTube video ever. <laughs> um, I kind of decided to do this about two weeks ago. Um, I can't say that it was like an immediate decision. Like I've been thinking about it for a while and deciding if I want to do this or if I think this is something kind of silly. I mean, I can't really... I'm still trying to decide. Um, and I'm trying to decide which way I want to take this. If I want to do, like, everyday stuff. If I want to do fitness stuff. If I... I, just, I can't decide, basically. I, I have no idea what I want to do. Um, but since this is my first video, I will give you a little background on myself. Um, I currently live in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Um, I am a student at Western Kentucky University. Uh... My field of study, if you will, um, is healthcare administration. Um, but my true, true passion is fitness. Unlike everything else, all the other fitness accounts on Instagram, all the other fitness people on YouTube, um, I, I fell in love with it. And it's one of those things that, like, you kind of, like, you just, like, you just start a little bit and you gradually grow and you grow to love it and you grow to really realize that hey this is something I can do like I can be really good at this and my body's changing in the way that I want it to um and ever since then I've just I've been hooked um and it wasn't I'm not gonna say it was love at first lift if you would say if, like that's even that's so cheesy I know but still um uh I was actually a runner loved to run all the time. It was like my thing. <laughs> um, and then I, I wouldn't say it was an injury. It was more of a setback. But um, my knee, like I think I landed on it wrong or um, the shoes I was wearing, Nike Freeze. If you're a runner, please don't wear those. They're a terrible support, especially if you have like high arches. Not the greatest shoe in the world. Um, but um, I think I landed on something that even in the tiniest bit of like movement for my knee and it hurt and it hurt for so long and um I mean I gained a little weight but not nothing terrible um but then I I started dating my current boyfriend and he lifted all the time and uh he was very he was the kind of the person who kind of got me started thinking about it um and then one winter break about two years ago, I hit up a friend from high school because I knew he was very athletic in high school and I knew he was still athletic, but he was still up with it. So I was like, hey, I was like, I want your help. I was like, I've been running, but I've, I'm stuck. Like, I can't run anymore. It hurts to run. I don't trust myself running. Is there anything I can do to, like, get back into shape? Like, get like a shock my body something and he suggested lifting and so that winter I did your basic stuff like your squats your deadlifts try to do a pull-up failed um but like bicep curls just just everything I could your basic bodybuilder stuff um I I started doing that and I could see that my body was transforming but I still wanted to run for some reason like I wanted to run more than I wanted to lift and I mean I did that for a couple of months when we got back maybe only a month when we got back from school I don't know um but when we got when I went back to school um I did more cardio than I did lifting and then I just got sick of cardio I was just I was done I didn't want to do anymore, so I started lifting with my boyfriend, which is who kind of pushed me into it to begin with. Like, he was the one, he was like, he showed me correct form, he told me, okay, don't do this, don't ever do that, um, and he was just, and he made me do everything, shoulder day, chest day, arms, legs, back, I mean, you name it, I had to do it, um, and he always pushed me, always pushed me until 
I couldn't feel the body part I was working anymore. Um, so that was a blessing, really, because then it, it really kind of shows you, like, what, how strong you are and how strong you can be. Uh, I, and I kind of had to look back. Um, now, that being said, I wasn't always a tiny person. I'm, like, 5'1" five foot we'll say five foot I'm actually dumbing myself down um I always say five one my boyfriend says I'm five foot so we're gonna go with my boyfriend today and we're gonna say I'm five foot um but at one time I think my senior year of high school I was like 150 pounds and I didn't carry it well so it was my arms my stomach my butt my legs like I mean I wasn't I wasn't carrying it well, and with me being as short as I was, it wasn't healthy, not even the slightest. Um, and my body would, like, reject food. Like, even the good food, like your vegetables that you're supposed to eat, it would reject it, basically. Like, I would feel so sick at the end of the day. I, I couldn't – I wasn't happy. Like, my body was clearly telling me that what I was doing was bad. Um, and if I didn't do something to change it, I was – end up going to get sick or, you know, end up with a long-term, like, I don't know, like type 2 diabetes or whatever, stuff like that. And I didn't want that. I knew better. Like, I knew better. So, um, I really started just like, I just, one day I just woke up and it was like a light bulb went off. I was like, okay, I need to do something to that benefits me better. That's not bad for me. I need to start exercising again. So, and I, I mean, I just started. It was a complete 180. Um, the only thing I couldn't give up was soda. <laughs> um, I, it took me so long to just give up soda. And even just diet soda. Like, it took so long. And, of course, that was before they, they told you that I had, I, I think it's aspartame. And it, like, totally jacked up your memory. I mean, it was stuff like that. But it still, it was, like, the tiniest thing. Like, the diet soda was my life support, basically. <laughs> um, but now I've cut that out. I drink water. I drink a soda every now and then because I crave it like no other, but um, I usually just drink water, so yay for me. Um, but uh, I I don't know, like I just, it was just like a light bulb went off and I was like, okay, time to change, time to do something that will benefit you in the long run and I just, I completely changed my diet, my exercise routine, which was zero at that time. Um, I worked out at home because I wasn't comfortable with going to a gym yet. I frankly didn't even know what a gym was, to be honest. I mean, I was that girl. Um, so it's, it's become something relatively new for me. Um, I, I used to have the metabolism of like, it, I mean, it was crazy metabolism. Like I could eat McDonald's, like all day, every day, and not gain a pound, and I think that's what, like, my, my metabolism stopped, <laughs> it just stopped, and I couldn't, I, like, I couldn't eat like that anymore, and I couldn't, I just, I couldn't, like, mentally handle that, like, the way I was looking was not happy to me, like, I couldn't imagine, like, my boyfriend at the time being happy with how I looked, so I wanted to change for myself, because I oh my god, he scares me every time he does that. But I wanted to change for myself. I wanted to do something that would benefit me better. So that's why I started exercising, eating right, lifting. Lifting was like my, my hallelujah stage because if I didn't have lifting, I probably would go absolutely insane. But um, uh, yeah, so that's a little bit about the my fitness adventure. Granted, I'm not going to go too in-depth with it because... Sometimes you can just get bogged down, and it can be very tedious, and it's just it's not okay. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's that's about it. <laughs> um, I do have a dog. I still haven't figured out this thing, but that's him. You can't see him. It's Jack. <laughs> he, uh, we actually, well... I just got him in November. My boyfriend got him for me for Christmas. He's the best. But his name is Jack, and he's a terror. He chews on all my stuff. My panties. He chews on my panties. Like, I don't understand that at all. Like, I don't get it at all. Like, I think it's disgusting. 
but it does give me an excuse to buy new panties, so I guess I can't, like, hate him too much for that. But he is a blue healer, and he is the laziest dog in the world. Um, he, I don't know. He's not lazy by any means, but he's just, you know, he's kind of chill, super chill. Unless he's, like, barking at, like, a neighbor or my roommates or, you know, the squirrels outside. I don't know. <laughs> um... But I am going to end this because I feel like all I've done is rant and potentially given you some background. Um, I'm going to see if this works out. I might just rant to, you, rant to YouTube and you guys about my day and how shitty it's been or, oh God, I'm sorry, that was too soon. <laughs> um, or once I get better at this whole like YouTube thing, I might start putting clips in of me working out and all that stuff. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see where this goes. Hopefully you guys like this. I have no idea. Please excuse the fact that I have like stuffed animals like just chilling over here. I don't, you know, I'm 24 years old, but I'm still a kid. So like the love of things is like right there. Plus, I have to keep them up because if not, my dog will chew on them. He thinks they're his. He already chewed on my old loft toy. So disappointed. But anyway, um, <laughs> I'm going to end this video. So hopefully you guys like it. If not, I can totally understand. I may just keep doing this anyway because I kind of like talking to myself <laughs> in a way. Um, but yeah, hopefully once I get better at this whole YouTube video editing thing, I can get better and start putting up like maybe some workout footage and stuff like that and kind of do almost like a day in the life although it's it's not that fun I can promise you that it's it's it's, it's really not that fun <laughs> um but I will see you guys later